So you watched my tutorials on DJ Pro and you've been practicing and now you're ready to do your first DJ gig. In this video, I'm gonna show you some steps to take once you get booked for your first DJ gig. Now, the most important thing for any DJ is going to be music. You can know all the best DJ tricks and mixing tricks and scratching, but if you don't have music to play, then your DJ set isn't gonna go very well. So there's a couple of options that you could choose for music. What I do is I only use streaming services. This is a little bit more risky, but then you don't have to worry about buying and downloading all the music. You just have to have a subscription for a streaming service. So if you decide to use streaming music, there is one very important thing that you are going to have to be responsible for. And that is if you are going to have service at the gig. So let's say you get booked for a gig at the Applebee's on Friday, in, on, on a Friday, two weeks from today. Couple of options you could do. Number one is what I used to do, and that is to have actual internet service on my iPad. If you have AT&T or T-Mobile, you could call them up and have them add 5G service to your iPad for an extra about $20, $15 a month, and then you will have service on your iPad. This works really well. You could also use your phone as a mobile hotspot and this works well as works works great as well. But the thing is, you still have to make sure that you're going to have 5G service at the gig. A lot of gigs might be in a downstairs basement room and there may not be service. So there's a couple of things you could do. If the place is local to you, say it's a catering hall that's local to, to you, maybe a half hour away, you could actually drive there in advance go there and then try to load up songs make sure the songs load and then if they do you are all good and then if there is no ser if there's no service you're gonna have to make other arrangements maybe download your music use an external hard drive or a usb stick another thing that you could do is you could call the place and ask them if they have wi-fi available thank you for calling everybody trying to be speaking car side to go to online ordering this is jenna how may i help you hi i just have a quick question um i'm having a party there in a couple of weeks is there free wi-fi um, yes, ma'am. There's free Wi-Fi? Thanks. Yes. You're welcome. A lot of places will have guest Wi-Fi, and if they don't have guest Wi-Fi and you tell them that you're DJing and you're going there to work, they may give you the password for the private Wi-Fi network, and then this will take all the stress away from having to load up your music and not having music available. So that's a great idea. Make sure you have service. Make sure you know what, what source you're going to use for your music. Next is going to be your playlist. Yes, you should always you should always have pre-made playlists for different things. I recommend having playlists for the decades, having playlists for different genres, whatever is your style of DJing, make these playlists, even if you have no gigs coming up, have these playlists ready. But once you do get booked for the gig, start making a gig specific playlist. So let's see if we are, we're going to do John's 21st birthday. In DJ Pro, you press one of the music selects buttons. This symbol up here, playlist, is where our playlists are. Press the plus button, playlist. John's 21st. Now we have playlist. So now, how many songs should you have in your playlist? This is a good question. It's a kind of controversial topic, and some people will agree with me, some people won't agree with me. But I would say to have at least double the amount of time in the party. So if it's a four hour party, then you're gonna wanna have at least eight hours of music. And what's really cool about DJ Pro is it'll tell you. So this playlist right here, for example, has five songs and is 17 minutes. So if you are doing a four hour party, you're gonna want it to say the amount of songs and then you're gonna want it to be eight hours or even more. Do not comment saying that you need more. If you like doing a quick mixes and you only play a little bit of the song, then obviously, yeah, you could have more than double the song, but you don't want to have less because if you play a song and the song doesn't work, you may think in your head when you're making these playlists that the song is going to work, everyone's going to love the song, then you play it and people just make a weird face and they start walking off the dance floor. You need to be able to quickly mix out of that song and go into a new song and that's why you're going to want to have double the song, double the amount of music. The next thing that you're going to want to do 
every song that you're adding to the, your playlist, you're going to want to mark your cue points. So let's say, for example, we're going to add this song. This is a song we had made. I had made for me personally, and we want to add it to our and we added it to our playlist. And now we're setting our cue points. I'm just going to delete them for this example. So this is how this song starts. A little bit awkward, and you're not going to want to start there. So find the spot where the song actually starts picking up. So for this song specifically. That would be a great place to mix in. And with DJ Pro, you could actually change these cue points. So we could press the pencil button here. We could change the color. I would recommend green or yellow for the start. And then we're going to write start. And then find a good place to mix out. Some songs, it'll be the end of the song. Some songs, you're not going to want to play the whole song. So for this one, it really stops like over here. Great place to mix out. So I'm going to go over here. Mark the cue point in red. Mix out. Now, one more thing that you're going to have to do in case you decide to use auto mix, maybe you have to go to the bathroom or you're busy and you can't actually mix yourself. What we could do is we could go. We're in cue points. We go to slice, drop down menu, skip. Then over here, we have our auto mix start and stop. So. The start for this one is right where I mark the cue point for start. And then the end is where I mark the cue point to end. It doesn't have to be the exact cue points that you set for start and end. But for auto mix, it is a great idea to have these. So if you do play auto mix, it'll start and end at the right spot. And if you guys want to learn more about DJ Pro's amazing auto mix, check out this video over here. Thank you.